everyone, it's Jojo. So yesterday, it was Saturday, and I had plans to just stay home and work around the house. And early in the morning, pretty early, I got a message uh, from a lady who was interested in a paperweight that I had for sale, but she wanted to meet me to look at it because um, I had mentioned that it wasn't in perfect condition. It had some, some issues to it. So within, I don't know, 20 minutes of receiving the message, I met her at the library and she loved the paperweight. So she bought it right away, paid me cash. And so then I had cash. That's the problem with like a lot of um, grad sales and things like that in the summer. I usually don't have cash, so I don't stop, but um, had some cash. So I said to my husband, let's go down to the antique store. I need, I'm working on a project in the kitchen where I need uh, a couple of vintage rolling pins and I have one so far but I needed to get another one. So we went down to the antique store and there was a um, sign on the door that said that they were closed and uh, they were going to be at an estate sale. I've never been to an estate sale um, before and so it was about mm, two hours to closing of that sale and we thought well we'll drive over and see what they got. So the estate sale led to a rummage sale, and then that led to stopping at a few garage sales. So this is my haul from all of those, and I'll go piece by piece. Most of the items are um, vintage, the things that I like, but I picked up a couple that wasn't. Um, but I was really excited. It was fun. It was definitely um, spoiled me, for sure, because um, the prices of everything was so much lower than I normally pay at uh, the thrift stores. So... But I was really happy with some of the things I found. Okay, the first um, thing that I'll show you is this bracelet. And it is not vintage, but I felt that it might be more like a vintage inspired by the charms on it. I paid 25 cents for it. And I thought it was really cool. And, um, you know, I figured I can use it as the bracelet like it is or I could even take the charms off and uh, use those separately which is cool. I picked up this um, necklace. This is the only thing I picked up at that particular garage sale. It's not a necklace actually. It's a, it's a beaded collar from the 50s. It's in pretty rough shape. I did pay two dollars for it but like some of the beads and the stitching is it so great but it did have a maker on the back and it says Sally G creation made in Japan. But I thought it was really cool. I don't have a beaded collar or anything like that. So I got that. And then at the state sale, actually, that we went to right after the antique store, I found this set of linens. There are 12 napkins and a very large tablecloth. It's very pretty. There's no stains, no rips, no tears in it. Um, it's a pretty applique work. And it didn't have a price tag on it. And the lady said $5. So I thought that was a good deal. And at the same estate sale, I got these. Um, they're um, Ohio State University swizzle sticks. And um, we overheard the one lady talking, and the gentleman who owned the home actually used to play football for Ohio State. And so um, they had tons of memorabilia there. Well, not when we were there. Most of it is sold, but... Um, Apparently, they had quite a bit, and um, so I picked up these. I paid a dollar for them. I thought they were kind of cool, and I love, you know, the vintage swizzle sticks. I went to a garage sale, and I picked up a few tablecloths. Um, this one has quite a few different stains. I did soak all the linens yesterday, all day long, and uh, it still has several marks on it. I know that some people, um, even though they have marks on it, they uh, cut them up. They call them a cutter and use them in different projects. But this was kind of neat. It has like um, delicatessen, like a kind of a Wild West feel to it. And it has like a picture of a restaurant. I paid a dollar for the tablecloths. There's actually one tablecloth that I don't have here because I'm still soaking it. It was pretty um, soiled. But this one was interesting. It kind of reminds me of my bedspread, actually. But I think it's a tablecloth. I've never seen a chenille tablecloth. But I paid a dollar for it, and um, it was really soiled. But I was able to get almost every single stain out of this. So I was really happy with it. Um, so I got that. 
And like I said, one more, but I am still soaking that one. So those um, ones came from their own garage sale. And then I have this one I paid 50 cents for. Um, like more of a, I got that upside down, like a Dutch print to it. Like a, um, I think it's from the 70s. And it's like a linen, like a woven material. And it was in really good shape. I got a couple of doilies. I paid 50 cents a piece. I stopped at another garage sale and the lady went $2 a piece for hers. And um, I just thought that was a little high. So the very next garage sale I went to, I picked up these for 50 cents a piece. I got this mug and it's definitely not vintage. I paid 50 cents for it. Uh, Cynthia, Cynthia Rally. I just thought it was cool. It reminded me of those coloring books that are really popular right now. And uh, it was in really good shape. So I thought it was fun. And I, I love anything with birds on it. So I got this Le Creuset um, garlic casserole. I paid a dollar for it. No chips or cracks or anything like that in it. I got these ones at the same garage sale. I got these glasses at a, um, the Yacht Club had a rummage sale, and it was about an hour to close. It was the second day that they had um, the sale. I didn't even know about it. We just happened to be driving by, and everything was half off. So these glasses were originally $0.10 cents a piece, so I paid $0.05, cents, so I paid $0.15 cents at the rummage sale, and they're all federal glasses, like a juice glass and then some larger tumblers. I got this little dress. I paid 50 cents for it. I think it was handmade. I'm going to see if my niece can wear it. Otherwise, I think um, we could put it on a doll baby. But I thought it was so cute with the, um, an apron with the little ties on the side. And then this grass sale was a home of um, an older couple. And um, she was selling some of her items. So I got this uh, hat. Uh, for a dollar and I thought it was pretty with all the little pearl details and flowers on it and I picked up three different purses this is a clutch um, I paid a dollar for it it was real clean on the inside had a little tag up there but I can't really read it so I'm not sure who makes it but I thought it was really pretty and then I picked up this pearl one. I paid a dollar for it also. It's in really good condition except for right there on the side. There's like a mark. I might try to clean it off. But the inside was still really nice and everything. And it does have, it says JRUSA on it. And then this one, um, I'm not sure if it's handmade or not. It almost looks like it would be handmade with a, like the little um, mother of pearl buttons on it. And there's one sewn on the inside. And then this is like you can maybe take off the cover and wash it. But I thought it was really cute. I liked it. And the handles like clicked together like that. But all in all, it was a fun surprise for me to, you know, do something a little bit different than my normal thrift hauls. So I might actually start going to more garage sales um, this summer. Because like I said, it kind of spoiled me because the prices were so much better than I would normally pay. So... Um, and it was fun to get out and do something different and talk to people. And um, so, yeah, I think I will be doing some more of these types of videos. I enjoyed watching a lot of people on Periscope um, this weekend who were doing flea markets and grad sales and everything. So I actually might do that. I think that would be a lot of fun. So maybe on the next, I can't this next weekend, but maybe the weekend after I'll try to do that. So anyway, uh, that's it for today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. I do lots of hauls with vintage items, um, mainly for my house. Sometimes I resell them. But um, yeah, so that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one. Bye.